From the Guardians to somebody nobody could guard for about 20 years, that would be Sue Bird. Her last regular season home game, a sellout in Seattle as they take on the Aces. Bird getting emotional, honored before the game. Fans showing their love during the pregame warm-up. Take a listen. And a 5-9 guard from UConn, number 10, Sue Can you hold it for me? Okay. She, uh, she got her flowers, as, as they would say. Deserved them. Asia Wilson, Brianna Stewart showdown. The night might have belonged to Sue Bird, and it did. Both were on their game. Asia Wilson was great. The corner three, Stewie to Bird. They didn't stop there. Wilson and Stewart <laughs> had 32 games between them with at least 20 points and five rebounds. The edge goes to Wilson, 17-15 in that particular category. But let's just talk about the woman of the moment. Bird with the steal does it all. Brianna Stewart back to Bird. With too many championships. You need uh, two hands to count those championships between Bird and Stewart. The collegiate and pro level next possession. Stewie corner three. Boom. And just like that, we're thinking about it. Either one of these two teams could easily win the whole thing. Chelsea Gray back to Asia Wilson who's just been dynamic for Becky Hammond and the Aces, they go up six with a week to go in the regular season. Gray, look at this tough two. Muscling, working it. Oh, it counts in the foul after completing the three-point play. The Aces are in business. But are they going to lose in Sue's final home game? Stewart for three. It's down to four. Come on, it's her day. It's a sellout. They all came to see her. Put it in her hands. Bird off glass for two. Trying to cleep a little bit closer. 37 ticks to go. Chelsea Gray, Kelsey Plum, she's money in the corner. Storm dropped their final home game in Bird's tenure, but a championship run could still be in the offing. You are diving on the floor, playing great defense. There's a lot of basketball ahead of you. How are you trying to set the emotion aside and compete for a championship? You know, once the, the ball gets tipped, you just kind of play. I, I wasn't really thinking about it. Maybe it's just years. Well, at least it's not one more year, right? At least it's thank you, Sue, if you can hear those chants. Um, but yeah, once the ball's out, you know, out there on the floor, you just play. Again, a week to go in the regular season. Let's kind of keep an eye on Candace Parker of the sky. She had a bit of the historic performance. The block here on Brianna Jones. Man. She is now top five all time in blocks. That's an emphatic number 600 in the fourth. Courtney Vandersloot. Mm. Got it to go. Sky trying to hang on against the sun. Under three minutes to go, still a three-point game. Vandersloot, Parker, easy two. They're the defending champs, looking to go back to back. Hasn't been done in a while. The WNBA, Kalea Popper. It's either the Sky or the Aces that are going to get the top seed. How about this falling away oh, yeah. for the four-point play for Dawana Bonner? All right, here we go. We're all knotted at 89. Emma Misaman. Sky, little breathing room. 1.4 seconds to go, last chance for Connecticut. Down three. Bonner had the hot hand. Back rim. Sky go on to win 94-91 again in great position to grab the top seed. Washington Mystics hosting the LA Sparks. There's Elena Deladon. The Mystics are battling their way back after being down by as many as 13. Natasha Cloud powers our way through, calls it all types of turbulence inside. Mystics down three after the charity strike. A couple minutes later, Cloud, Ariel Atkins, jumper, good. Sixth 20 point game this season, she also added nine assists. It's a one point game, Brittany Sykes. Consecutive 20 point games for the first time in five years. We got a three point ball game. Mystics still down three. Cloud, off near the logo, no good. Upset at the no foul call, waved off by the referees. The Mystics, just the third game this year with three or fewer threes. Hmm. Seems to be contact as she gets the ball off. She has a case. Cloud held back by her teammates, obviously emotional. Spark's six game losing streak is over. They get a three point win, keep their slim playoff hopes alive. She, she is still upset. Sylvia Fowles farewell tour. It's not just the Sue Bird farewell tour. Remember, Fowles has been in this league for 15 years. Nafisa Collier making her season debut. She's been on maternity leave since May. Welcome back. Early second. 
Lynx up early. Collier, I said, welcome back. I'll give you your stat line here in a second. Pretty good comeback in game number one, or first bucket of the season. Right now, they are sitting in the 10 spot. Again, I mentioned she had a baby in May. All right, so then Sylvia Fowles got it. Remember, she was the big story at the All-Star game, Max, where she threw down the dunk. Remember that? Everybody was getting excited about that in the fourth. Collier, all part of a 10-0 run. A couple possessions later, Natalie Chunwa. It counts! And the foul, that'll give him a little bit of breathing room. And then let's find fouls. Got it, eight points, eight boards. Welcome back. Lynx go on to win 81-71. Again, sitting just on the outside of the playoff picture at the second. Plenty of time for that to change, though. One week to go in the regular season. Five teams scrambling for the last three spots. I mentioned the Lynx sitting there in 10th. Dallas has created some space for itself, a bit from the rest of the pack in sixth. But the other five teams are separated by just a single game. Remember, it's the top eight, the top eight that will make the playoffs. And we just added this to the schedule recently. And that's how big of a game it is. Sue Bird and Sylvia Fowles on the court together. We just showed you what they're both doing in their farewell seasons. It'll be the final regular season home game for Fowles. Penultimate game for Bird. Regular season. Both are obviously hoping for a deep postseason run. Coverage begins Friday 9 Eastern on ESPN2. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.